potential signing of a new kicker has many Packers fans on edge. On Tuesday, the Green Bay Packers held a workout with veteran Brandon McManus, as reported by NFL Network's Mike Garofalo, while head coach Matt LaFleur previously suggested there would be no changes at the position. Rookie Braden Narvison's continued mistakes have the team reconsidering their options. Could this change be what the Packers need to fix their special teams issues? Let's take a closer look. It's the old story. No one pays much attention to the kicker until he starts missing. The Packers have been feeling that firsthand. Braden Narvison, the young rookie, has had a tough season, missing five field goals in six weeks, the most in the NFL so far. In a sport where every point can decide a game, those mistakes are costing them dearly. With the team young and the games tight, every missed kick becomes even more visible. On Sunday, Narvison missed a 44-yard field goal at Lambeau Field, which only increased the concern of the fans and the coaching staff. That's why, even with Lafleur's words indicating patience, the decision to bring McManus in for a tryout came as no surprise to anyone. At the end of the day, a team that wants to make the playoffs can't afford such consistent failures in the passing game. The Packers, who have historically had reliable kickers, now face a dilemma. Should they keep Narvison and risk more mistakes? Or should they rely on the experience of a veteran who has already shown reliability in crucial moments? The next few games could certainly be decisive in that decision. Lafleur and his staff know that if Narvison's mistakes continue, the damage to the young kicker's confidence could be irreparable. Bringing in McManus now could be a preventative measure before the season is derailed by more special teams mistakes. At 33 years old, Brandon McManus has had a long career in the NFL, which could be a big advantage for the Packers. He has played for big teams like the Denver Broncos and Jacksonville Jaguars, accumulating 311 field goal attempts and an 81.4% success rate. It's not just any kicker who survives a decade in the league, and this experience could be exactly what Green Bay needs to stabilize this important position. McManus' presence would provide a sense of security in high-pressure situations. He knows the weight of punting in big games, something a rookie like Narvison has yet to learn. During his time with the Denver Broncos, McManus was a key part of their Super Bowl 50 win, showing that he can handle the sport's biggest stages. That experience in high-pressure games could be invaluable for the Packers, especially in a season with so much uncertainty. Additionally, McManus had a solid season with the Jaguars in 2023, hitting 30 of 37 field goals, 81.1%, and converting 100% of his extra points. Consistency on extra points is something the Packers can't afford to take for granted, as missing those points could jeopardize a close win. And let's not forget the veteran's strong leg, which provides a reliable option for long-range kicks, something Narvison has yet to demonstrate. If McManus is hired, he will have to adapt quickly to the Packers' environment. Lambeau Field is notorious for its unpredictable weather, especially in November and December, when cold and windy conditions can make kicking difficult. But a kicker with McManus' experience would certainly be better prepared for such adversity than a rookie. When the Packers signed Braden Narvison, there was an expectation that he could develop into a reliable kicker. The pressure of being the starting kicker on a team like the Packers is immense, especially in a league where every mistake is magnified. Narvison's first few games, unfortunately, have not been the best, and that has put a lot of pressure on his shoulders. A kicker needs confidence, and that confidence can quickly disappear with a string of mistakes. The question is... Should the Packers be patient and allow Narvison to develop, or is it time to look for an immediate solution? Lafleur has always been known for giving opportunities to young talent, but kicker is a position where there is no room for constant error. The risk of keeping Narvison is that he will continue to miss crucial points in critical moments, which could ultimately cost him a playoff spot. On the other hand, if the Packers give up on Narvison now, they risk hurting his long-term development. The NFL is unforgiving with kickers, and Narvison may not get many more opportunities if he is released. Perhaps, the best option is to keep him on the practice squad and work on his weaknesses, allowing him to develop without the pressure of starting every game. Whatever the decision, 
Packers fans will be watching every move. Narvison may have the potential to become a great kicker, but time is running out to prove it. McManus's arrival could be the last straw to save the season if the mistakes continue. Despite his experience and skill, McManus's potential signing has not come without controversy. He signed with the Washington Commanders in 2024, but was released after allegations of sexual harassment surfaced. The incident, which occurred in 2023 during a flight to London while McManus was with the Jaguars, is still being resolved legally. While the NFL concluded its investigation without imposing any sanctions, the allegations could raise concerns among fans and the Packers organization. The Packers have always valued character and integrity in their players, so it's possible that the front office is carefully evaluating McManus's situation. Bringing in a player with this kind of controversy may not be what the team wants at this point. However, if the team feels he's ready to contribute in a positive way, it may be that the on-field needs outweigh the off-field concerns. On the other hand, McManus has never had any behavioral issues prior to this incident, which could indicate that this was an isolated incident. Still, with discussions around behavior and ethics at an all-time high in the NFL, the Packers will need to evaluate whether McManus is worth bringing on board. If he is signed, the Packers will likely need to be careful when dealing with the media and fans. Maintaining transparency about the player's legal status will be key to avoiding off-field distractions that could derail the team's performance. One thing that weighs heavily in Brandon McManus's favor is his winning record. He was the Denver Broncos kicker on their Super Bowl 50 title run, and that's something you can never ignore. A kicker who's been to playoff games and been part of a championship team brings a wealth of confidence and experience that could be crucial for the Packers in moments of pressure. In situations where every point counts, having a kicker with that winning mentality makes a big difference. During Super Bowl 50, McManus showed nerves of steel. In a game where the Broncos' offense struggled, he hit three field goals, directly contributing to a 24-10 victory over the Carolina Panthers. That ability to stay strong under pressure is something the Packers could use, especially in a season as up and down as this one. McManus's big game experience goes beyond the Super Bowl. He's been in multiple playoff games and knows what it's like to play with everything on the line. The experience of someone who has been there and done that cannot be understated, especially when we consider that the Packers are in the midst of a rebuild with a lot of young players. Having a veteran like McManus can bring more peace of mind in critical moments, not just for special teams, but for the team as a whole. With the playoffs still a real possibility for the Packers, even with their recent challenges, ensuring that the kicker is ready for those moments could be the difference between advancing or being eliminated. McManus, without a doubt, brings that security that could be what was missing in the most decisive moments of the season. One of Brandon McManus's greatest strengths throughout his career has been his ability to hit field goals from long range. While many kickers start to lose accuracy once their kicks go beyond 40 yards, McManus has always been a threat from 50 yards or more. In 2023, he was 11 of 13 on kicks between 40 and 49 yards and 5 of 10 when kicks went from 50 yards or more. This puts McManus in a select group of kickers who can provide a lethal weapon in situations where the offense can't get going. The Packers have found themselves in a number of situations this season where long-range kicks have been necessary. A kicker with that ability gives coach Matt LaFleur much more flexibility to take shots that, with another player, might be considered too risky. If McManus is retained, the Packers will have the ability to score points on situations that would otherwise be punts or failed fourth down attempts. For a team with a solid defense, having a kicker who can score from anywhere on the field is a huge advantage. It means the Packers don't have to push as hard on third and long situations, knowing that if they get close to the 50-yard line, they still have a good chance of securing three points with McManus. This factor could completely change the team's tactical approach. Additionally, the conditions in Green Bay are always challenging, especially in the winter when the wind and cold make long-range shots even more difficult. 
McManus's experience and strength could be crucial in home games during the colder months, something rookie Narvison has yet to prove himself ready for. One of the questions that arises with the potential signing of Brandon McManus is whether there is room for both him and Braden Narvison on the roster. The Packers currently have an open spot on the practice squad, which could be used to house Narvison, while McManus takes over as the starter on the first team. That way, the team wouldn't have to part with the rookie right away, allowing him to continue developing without the pressure of being on the field every game. This strategy has been used by other NFL teams that needed a temporary solution to issues at key positions. The idea would be to allow Narvison to work on his weaknesses, improving his consistency and confidence, while McManus would take over the playmaking responsibilities. In the long run, Narvison could eventually regain the starting role once he was more prepared for the demands of the league. The main question is whether the team is willing to invest in a veteran kicker like McManus, while also continuing to invest in Narvison's development. Carrying two kickers on the main roster is unlikely, but using the practice squad as a way to keep Narvison around could be a smart solution. That way, the Packers would ensure they are covered for the remainder of the season while still preserving a future project. Keeping both could be a delicate balance, but if Lafleur and his staff believe in Narvison's potential, this could be a middle ground that keeps the team competitive in the present and prepared for the future. There has been no confirmation yet that the Packers will sign Brandon McManus. Tryouts for veteran players are common practice in the NFL, especially when a critical position like kicker is at stake. Often, these tryouts are a way for teams to evaluate their options and have players in mind in case circumstances worsen in the coming weeks. But is that what is happening here, or are the Packers considering an immediate move? If McManus impressed during tryouts, the Packers may be preparing to make a quick decision. They have a spot on the practice squad and could make the move without cutting any other key players from the roster. The question is, how will this move impact the locker room and, of course, the field? If McManus is indeed signed, we could see an almost immediate change in special teams performance, something the team desperately needs. On the other hand, if the Packers opt not to sign McManus now, that doesn't mean he's out of the picture. It's possible the team is waiting another game or two to see how Narvison performs. If the Packers' issues continue, McManus could be the emergency solution with a clear understanding of what the team expects from him. Regardless of what happens, the Packers testing McManus sends a clear message. The kicker position is on the line, and the team will not tolerate many more mistakes. McManus's testing is a direct response to frustration with recent performances, and the next few days could bring important news about the team's future. Nothing stirs a fan base more than the performance of their kicker. And with Narvison's recent missteps, Packers fans are not holding back on their criticism. On social media and message boards, the debate over whether to keep the rookie or bring in McManus to take over the position is raging. On one side, there are those who believe patience is key, that Narvison has room for improvement, and that throwing him into the fire could hurt his confidence in the long run. On the other, many are clamoring for experience, saying a team like the Packers can't afford to risk so many mistakes at such a critical position. The fact is that the Packers are a franchise accustomed to excellence at every position, and any slip-up can only stand out more. The pressure on head coach Matt LaFleur to make the right decision is mounting, and fans are anxiously awaiting to see how the team will handle this situation. After all, there's nothing more frustrating than losing games because of mistakes that could have been avoided. For now, the McManus test has added fuel to the debate. Many fans see this as an immediate solution, something that could guarantee victories in tight games. Others, however, believe the team should maintain its faith in young Narvison and give him time to develop. One thing is certain. Whatever the decision, the pressure on the Packers' kicker will be immense in the coming games. With or without McManus, the Packers need to prepare for the next challenge. The team is at a crucial point in the season, and every game from now on will be crucial to securing a spot in the playoffs. 
The uncertainty surrounding the kicker position puts even more pressure on a team already dealing with injuries and inconsistencies in other areas of the roster. Regardless of who is kicking next Sunday, one thing is certain. The kicker will have the eyes of the entire Packers fan base on him. Whether it's Narvison seeking redemption or McManus trying to prove he still has a lot to offer, every field goal and every extra point will be critical to the final outcome. The team needs stability on special teams, and the coaching staff knows it. The next game could be Narvison's test of fame or McManus's debut in a Packers jersey. In both cases, expectations are high and there is room for error.